Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I am Coach Ray. Thank you for joining me for today's Stick Mobility class. I appreciate you all being here. So for today's class, we are gonna need two long sticks, one short stick. I also have a pad for us to kneel on and also have a squat rack here behind me that's gonna act as a door frame and a wall. So we're gonna be getting into some drills that are gonna require some rotation. I'm actually gonna use this ramp behind me. That's gonna act as a corner, bottom of the corner of a wall here because we are gonna be leveraging uh, a drill that we use for um, like a rotational cool down. Instead, we're gonna actually turn that into a strength drill by driving the stick in a certain way. And we'll kind of go through that as we get into the strength aspect. We're still working on those spiral lines. So we are gonna do a progression of a drill that we did last week, which was a half kneeling rotating press. Instead, we're actually gonna do that from a standing position. So there's gonna be a little bit more of a challenge on the stability factor of that drill here. So we're gonna go through a full body warm up. We're gonna start from the feet first, move up. Let's get into it. We're gonna start with the short stick here today. I'm gonna to go with a wider than shoulder width stance. We're gonna go with the horse stance here. I want my feet to be pointed forward here. Stick is in line with my center line. And I want the stick to be angled in towards me, right? So if I'm turned to the side, stick's angled in. We're just using this for balance here. Now from here, hands are gonna be about roughly chest or sternum height. Go ahead and squat down a bit here. And then we're gonna bring both heels up, nice and high, all five toes in contact with the floor. Then we're gonna slowly bring the heels down. Good, back up. Don't let those heels touch the floor. I'm gonna shift my right ankle outwards to go on my pinky toe, then shift in to go on my big toe, back to center, do it on the left ankle. Shift towards that pinky toe, shift the heel outwards, and then in towards that center line, back to center, down, and then back up again. Excellent, heels down, and back up again. Shift that right ankle out on the pinky toe, and on the big toe, good. Shift the left ankle out on that pinky toe, then in on the big toe towards that center line, back to center, heels down, excellent, up, heels down, and bring them up again. Last one, shift that right heel out. Excellent. In. Good, back to center. Left heel goes out, away from the center line. In on that big toe towards the center line. Back to center. Heels down. Excellent, heels up again. Slowly come back down to the floor. And ease off. This is where we're gonna shift into the squat rack. So if you got a door frame, you might wanna to get to it currently. We're gonna work on pelvic tilts. We haven't done this in a while. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be driving the stick up. This is going to make sure that we're in a nice and tall position. So we're gonna create tension on that posterior line. So from here, I'm gonna have the stick going up. I wanna grip roughly about belly button height, almost the same for a dumpy squat. Now from here, keeping those elbows in, take a wider than shoulder width stance, toes are pointed forward, and I'm gonna bend my knees, so I'm gonna get into a horse stance here. Keep a nice, good, tall posture. Drive the stick up 20%. Now you should feel those posterior tissues activate. Those erectors are gonna light up. Now from here, I'm gonna do a posterior tilt, so I'm gonna tuck my pelvis in, squeezing those glutes, driving those knees apart. Now I'm gonna do an anterior tilt tuck my pelvis the opposite way. So if my hips were a bucket, I'm tipping water out the front here. Posterior tilt, squeeze those glutes, drive those knees apart, anterior tilt. Good, posterior tilt, squeeze the glutes, anterior tilt. Posterior tilt, anterior tilt. Posterior tilt, Good, anterior tilt, back to center. Now going to a slight posterior tilt, we're gonna do hip bumps. So I'm gonna bump my right hip up, my left hip is gonna drop towards the floor, then I'm gonna bump my left hip up, right hip drops down towards the floor. Bump the right, right glute fires, bump the left, 
Good. Keep driving that stick up 20%. We're not letting off. Bump to the right. Excellent. Bump to the left. Bump to the right. And bump to the left. Back to center. And ease off. Take a second. We're going to stay in the door frame. We're now going to use a dumpy squat as a way to open up the hips. So we're going to sit in the bottom of that dumpy squat for quite some time. We're actually going to start off in a wide stance here. Not necessarily a sumo stance, but relatively close. So again, go with a pretty wide stance. Have your feet slightly angled out here so you can actually open up the hips. The stick still goes up into the top of the door frame here. Have the hands roughly about waist to belly button height. We're only pushing up about 20 to 30%. Remember, this is a warm up. So from here, drive the stick up, and I'm gonna slowly push myself down, driving the knees out, keeping a nice, good, upright position. Keep the stick in front. Don't bring your head to the side. Slowly come up, squeeze those glutes. Good, keep driving that stick up. Drive yourself down, knees out. Sink into that squat, take advantage of that stretch. Excellent, back up. Good, let's go one more time. Drive down, keep those knees out. Breathe. Back up. Ease off, take a second. Now we're gonna move the stance in a little bit more. So more closer to shoulder width at this point here. Still wanna keep a slight toe out angle. So again, we're still going about 20, 30% tension, nothing too significant. So probably gonna be a little exhausting. So from here, drive that stick up. Feel those erectors light up. Make sure you're grabbing the ground with your toes. Slowly push yourself down. Keep that stick in front. Good, slowly come up. Squeeze those glutes. Good, back down. Nice and slow, keep it controlled. Driving those knees out. Up. Squeeze the glutes. Take a second, one more time. Just drive yourself down into the squat, nice and deep. Back up. And ease off. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna shift over to here. Change this right back. And now we're gonna work with opening up that spine. So we're gonna put the short stick down. We're only gonna take one long stick here. We're gonna need a pad for us to kneel on. Now for this drill, we're gonna have the stick behind our mid back. So I'm gonna move this bench out of the way. Just, just in case I hit it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with our right knee down. Let's see this back a little bit. We're gonna go right knee down. Left leg is going to be forward here. Now, we're gonna have the stick behind our mid back. All right, and we're gonna have our hands stretched out. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to rotate and hinge down and then create tension on the stick by pulling the stick apart. Now, we're still warming up, so it's only about 20% tension. We're not gonna go anything too intense. My back foot is dorsiflex, so my big toe is in the floor. And I wanna create tension, driving that back foot down, squeezing that right glute. Now I'm gonna put my hips into extension. Now I'm gonna rotate towards my front leg. So my left leg's forward, I'm gonna to rotate to my left, and I'm gonna pull across with that right hand. And I'm going to hinge down, touch the bottom of the stick, to be right about in line with the toes of my front foot. And then I'm gonna pull the stick apart. You're gonna get tension in the upper back, really driving that rotation. Good, breathe. Ease off that pulling tension, come back up, and then rotate back to center. Now we're gonna to go to the opposite side. I'm gonna to rotate to the right, pulling that left hand across. We want the stick to be on the inside of that front leg. Keep that right hip pointed forward, 
pull the stick apart. Creating nice tension here. Only about 20%. Ease off that tension. Come back up. Rotate back to center. Now we're going to do that again. Rotate to the left. Pull with that right arm. Hinge down. Place the stick on the ground. Pull apart. That back leg is still in tension. Squeezing that glute. Driving that foot down. Ease off. Come back up to center. Good. Now rotate to the right. Place that left end down. Pull apart. Good. Three, two, one. Ease off. Come back up. Rotate back to center. Now we're going to switch sides. So I'm actually going to turn. So we can see how it looks from the side now. So again, back foot is dorsiflex, pushing that big toe into the floor here. <clears throat> Stick is behind the mid back. From here, drive the back foot down, squeeze that left glute, give those hips into extension, rotate to the right, pulling that left arm across, hinge. Now pull the stick apart. <sighs> Breathe. Excellent, ease off. Come back up to center. Now we're going to rotate to the right, place the right end of the stick down, pull the stick apart. Should feel a lot of tension in that upper back. Ease off, back up, back to center. Let's go one more time each way. Rotate to the right, hinge, place that end of the stick down, pull apart. Breathe. Good. Ease off. Come back up. Back to center. Rotate to the left. Place the right end of the stick down. Pull apart. Breathe. Three, two, one. Ease off. Back up. Back to center. And relax. Excellent. Good. Now we're going to grab our second long stick. We're going to work on extension here. So, if you start with your hands up higher, you won't have to hinge as far. So that might be a good place to start. You can incrementally move your hands down if you'd like for this one. I'm going to take about roughly a shoulder width stance. Toes are pointed forward here. Both sticks are going to be on the inside of my feet, but in line, front of the line of my toes here. So if I turn to the side, there's about roughly six to eight inches of distance between the line of my toes. Now from here, I'm going to have, so the sticks are roughly about a little, little, little closer to shoulder width here. What I'm going to do from this position, I'm going to start with the, the, my hands roughly about face level. I'm going to lightly drive the sticks down, and then I'm going to hinge back driving my hands out away from my hips <sighs> trying to create as long of a spine as I can here <sighs> good slowly come back up <sighs> going to it again drive those hips back reach out with the hands <sighs> good Feel that T-spine start to open up. Going to get to loosen up those shoulder blades a little bit too. Excellent. Back up. Let's go one more time here. Hinge back. Drive those hands out. Breathe. Three, two, one. Slowly come back up and ease off. Now, we're gonna switch back to the short stick here. We're gonna stay with the short stick for a little while, a little while. I wanna get two more warm-ups in. One thing I wanna do is the disassociation. We're gonna move the spine, or so move the rib cage, if you will, technically, side to side, working with opening up the rib cage in that movement, then we're gonna get into some kayaking to loosen up the shoulder blades a little bit more. We're gonna have the stick on top of our traps. 
or upper back here. Now, feet are gonna be roughly about hip to shoulder width apart. Toes are gonna be pointed forward. You wanna make sure you squat down and squeeze your glutes. You don't want a whole lot of movement in the pelvis. You want as minimal movement in the pelvis as possible. Now, where you're gripping the stick doesn't particularly matter here. But, you wanna make sure there's full grip on the stick, get, get in position. I'm gonna lightly pull the stick apart about 20%, and then I'm gonna shift my rib cage to the left. So I'm bumping my rib cage going this way, keep pulling that stick apart, then I'm gonna shift to the right, then the left, good, right, left, right. Now again, this is a disassociation drill. Left, right. You want as minimal movement from the hips as possible. Left and right. Excellent. Back to center and relax. Now we're going to take the short stick. Fingertips on the end of the sticks here. I'm gonna go with a split stance. Right foot is gonna be forward, left foot is back. Have that left heel up nice and high. Load the legs a little bit, so kind of squat down a little. Start with that left hand up. I'm gonna drive that left hand through. Right hand comes up and over. As that right hand comes through, I'm gonna to rotate to my left. Good, come back to center. We're not rotating to the right, we're only rotating to the left here. Good. Back to center, nice and slow, rotate to the left. Good, back to center, rotate to the left again. Back to center, let's go one more time, and rotate to the left. Back up, now we're gonna switch feet. Right foot, or left foot forward, right foot back. Now we're gonna rotate to the right, Oops. driving that left hand through. Come back to center, good, rotate to the right, back to center, rotate to the right again, back to center, rotate to the right, back to center, one more, rotate to the right, and back to center, and knees off. Now we're gonna get into our first strength training drill. This is what is gonna be the progression of what we did last week. So last week we did it from a, uh, excuse me, half kneeling position. We're now gonna do this from a, excuse me, standing position. This is gonna be a little bit harder in terms of stability. You wanna make sure we're not getting a whole lot of excessive movement in that lower body, particularly the low back. Now I'm gonna start with my right foot forward here. Left foot's gonna be back. You wanna take a relatively big split. So my split isn't huge. It's just good enough to where I can actually still create tension in the lower body and legs, still got room to tuck the pelvis, keep it in place. Now, from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the stick on in front, keeping those elbows under the stick if possible here. Left heel is up nice and high, squeezing this glute, tucking the pelvis, locking everything in place here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by rotating to the right. So from this position, I'm gonna rotate to the right. I'm gonna shorten the stick 50%, press it up overhead. Good, pull the stick apart. Feel the upper back in nice and active. Bring the stick back down nice and slow. Rotate back forward and ease off. I'm gonna rotate, I'm gonna turn forward here. Let's see what that looks like from the front. Load that leg from here. We're gonna rotate to the right. <sighs> Compress the stick. Let's go 60%. A little harder than the last time. Press the stick up overhead. <sighs> Make sure that right that left glute is squeezing nice and tight. Pull the stick apart. <sighs> Pull the stick back down. Excellent, back forward, and ease off. Let's go again, let's up the tension more. 70%, make sure that leg is loaded, rotate to your right, 
Compress the stick 70%. Press overhead. Pull the stick apart. Bring it back down. Rotate forward and ease off. Excellent. We're gonna switch sides. So left leg's gonna be four now, right leg is back. Keep that right heel up nice and high. Squeeze that right glute, tuck the pelvis. Make sure you keep it tight. Otherwise, those hips are gonna to move too much. You wanna minimize that. So from here, we're gonna to rotate to the left. Compress the stick 50%. Push the stick up overhead. Pull the stick apart. Back down nice and slow. Excellent. Rotate back forward and ease off. Good, let's go two more. Up at the 60% on this next one. Rotate to the left here. Right glute, it's tight. Compress, 60%. Press the stick up overhead. Pull apart. Back down. Rotate forward and ease off. We got one more here. Rotate to the left. We're at 70%. Right glute is tight. Compress that stick. Press it up overhead. Pull apart. Down, nice and slow. Rotate back forward and ease off. Excellent, good. Now we're gonna change sticks. We're gonna go with one long stick here. So like I mentioned, this drill where we use this has a way to open up rotation, so on and so forth. But however, we're just gonna effectively use it as a strength drill by creating more tension, but this is gonna require us pushing the stick down. So the drill I'm talking about, just so I can show you real quick, is a drill where we're in a split position, the stick comes on the outside of the front leg, it ends up on the outside of that back leg. We're going to do that same drill, but we're gonna need a corner of a wall to make sure that we can stabilize and hold the stick in place as we push and create tension here. So, sorry, let me move this back a little bit more. Now, this is my wall here, right? Although there's no real wall. I'm gonna have my left leg forward. So that inside leg, we want that leg to be back, right? We're, we're pulling towards the wall technically. Now, the bottom of the stick is going on the outside of my front leg, outside of my back leg, but I'm, I'm driving the stick Kind of diagonally. So the bottom of the stick is about a couple inches in front of the line of my toes on my back foot here. Now from this position, squat down, right? Squeeze that right glute. You're going to need to connect that. Now with my left hand out, I'm going to reach across with the right. So I'm getting rotation already. Now from here, drive that stick into the wall about 50%. And then I'm going to pull my torso going back and rotate to the right. I'm creating a bow on a stick. Hold, three, two, one, ease off, and take a second. If your stick is, if the stick is moving, adjust it. Adjust it however you need to here. We're gonna do that again. Reach that right hand across. Drive the stick into the wall. Pull the torso back, and rotate. To the right, you're gonna feel that oblique working real hard here, particularly the right oblique. And three, two, one, ease off and relax. We're gonna go one more time here, then we're gonna switch sides. Rotate the stick, reach across, drive the stick into the wall here, pull back and rotate to the right. Make sure you're driving that left leg out. Three, two, 
one, ease off, and take a second. Let's go ahead and switch sides here. So I'm gonna have to turn around for this one, folks. Sorry about that. So right leg's forward, left leg is back. Also, if you're having a hard time balancing, widen your base, right? Bring your feet out wider from one another in terms of like the width, the distance of width, the width of distance. I'm gonna set the stick up here. I'm gonna have it going on the outside of my front leg here. Right hand's on the stick. I'm gonna reach across with the left. Drive the stick into the wall 50%. Lean back a bit and then create tension. I'm gonna rotate to my left. Hold. Three, two, one, and ease off. Relax, adjust the stick if you need to. You'll probably notice I'm gonna do that a couple times here. Reach across with the left, create tension, drive the stick into the wall, lean up, and then rotate to the left. You're not trying to break the stick, just trying to create some tension. Three, two, one, back to and ease off. One more time, rotate that stick again. Left hand comes across, drive the stick into the wall. Lean up, rotate to the left. Three, two, one, and ease off and relax. Good. So now we're gonna switch into creating some rotational tension. So this is where the, squ the squat rack or door frame comes into play here. Now we've done the drills very, we've done this kind of drill before. Again, this is a little bit of a progression. We're going to be rotating into creating tension. Now, as we do that here, we're rotating that inside leg, but we're gonna be in a little bit of a split stance here. So I have the long stick. I'm going to have the end of the stick into the top of the, uh, top of the uh, squat rack here. So basically in a corner, but it's gonna be diagonal. Now I'm gonna create a little bit of a split here. So I am in a split stance. I do have a wide base. You wanna make sure your base is wide. Shouldn't be narrow. Now from here, my hands are gonna be, my left hand's gonna be stretched out. It's almost roughly about waist height. And my right hand is gonna be roughly about rib cage height. Okay, somewhere around there. Now, what I'm gonna do from here is I'm going to rotate and pivot that right hip in. So I'm really gonna create that internal rotation on that right hip. And now I'm gonna push with the stick. Now, as I do that, I want that right arm to really drive, that, to drive the stick out and pull in with the left here. So I'm going to get set in position, make sure the stick is nice and secure. I'm gonna drop down into the load of the legs. And from here, I'm gonna rotate that right hip in I'm already getting some tension in the obliques, and then I'm gonna create tension. Pushing with the right hand, pulling with the left. And then I'm gonna ease off nice and slow. Rotate the stick, we're gonna repeat that again. Let's go 70% here. Rotate that right hip in, create tension. Three, two, one, ease off, nice and slow, rotate the stick. Let's go two more, still at 70%. Rotate that right hip in, pivot that heel out, and create tension. Three, two, one, ease off. Good, let's go one more time, rotate the stick. Pivot that right hip in. Create tension. Three, two, one, and ease off. Take a second. We're gonna switch sides here. So create that same split. Also, you can do this from a elbow bent position, and you can also, to make it a little easier, if you wanna make it harder, fully stretch your arms out. That will increase the challenge for this particular drill.
oblique, fire that front leg. Ease off. Good. Rotate the stick. So 70% here. Squat down. Rotate that left hip in. Create tension. Good, ease off, rotate the stick, let's go again, drop that left hip in, create tension, three, two, one, ease off, let's go one more time, rotate the stick, rotate that left hip in, and create tension, Three, two, one, and ease off. Excellent, good. Now, let's go ahead and get into the cool down. Now from here, we're gonna use a pad and both long sticks here. So we're gonna work on an extension drill. So from here, I'm gonna be in a tall kneeling position. And actually I'll turn to the side. We've done this drill before. This is really, really good. It's actually one of my favorite drills for, actually it is, my, it is definitely my favorite drill for opening up the T-spine here. So from here, in a tall kneeling position, both ankles are extended. I got the tops of my feet going into the floor here. Now the bottom of the sticks, are roughly about a foot and a half away from my body here. We are going to be hanging. So you wanna make sure that your hands aren't like mine and all sweaty and stuff. <laughs> now I'm gonna have my hands above my head or roughly about forehead height here. And from this position, I'm going to reach my, so I'm gonna drop my torso going towards the floor and I'm gonna get a hang in the hands. You're already gonna feel a stretch on that thoracic spine here. Now all I'm going to do is from, from this position, I'm going to sit my butt back onto my heels, still leaning forward, then I'm going to come back up, still getting that hang, sink the hips back, back up, good, sink the hips back, Good, come back up, sink the hips back, breathe, come back up, let's go one more time, sink the hips back, back up, and ease off. Now we're gonna do that same drill again, this time we're gonna actually Add in a little bit of rotation. So we're gonna use the sticks as a way to kind of rotate the shoulder side to side. The movement might be pretty small and that's okay. We're just trying to really get a little bit more rotation out of this drill here while we're in extension. So we're gonna set the hands up the same way. Your hands might slip, that's okay. You're gonna hang. I'm gonna sink the hips back. And then I'm gonna rotate side to side. Rotate to the right, left, right. Like I said, the movement's gonna be small. Left, good, I'm gonna come up. And then I'm gonna rotate again. Rotate to the right, left. I'm driving that right stick out, pulling back with the left. Rotate to the right. Good, you're gonna feel a stretch in the lats, left. Back to center and ease off. Excellent, good. We're gonna place the two long sticks down. And we're gonna take the short stick here. Now for this drill, it's gonna be a little, a little tricky, but 
we're gonna have both hands up or have a reverse grip on the stick here. Now, if you're really mobile, you can have your hands out wider, <laughs> but I would say suggestion to start roughly about shoulder width. You can go slightly wider if you'd like. Now we're gonna Back to center, then rotate over again. Back to center, rotate over again. Let's go to the other side one more time. Excellent. Back to center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in rotation and lateral flexion. So we're going to hold this specifically only to one side at least to start off with. So I'm going to rotate my right hand up and over. So from here, go ahead and get a grip on a stick, rotate right hand up and over. Now from this position here, I'm actually going to rotate to my right. First position, try to keep those hips facing forward. You don't want the hips to fully rotate. So, rotating the spine, and then I'm going to laterally flex to my left. Get a nice, good stretch in the upper back. Excellent. Back to center. Good. Bring your hands back. And now we're going to do that to the other side. Rotate that left hand over. Now we're going to rotate to the left. Good. Laterally flip. Back up, come back to center. Let's go one more time. Rotate to the left, laterally flex to the right. Back up. Come back to center, unwind, and he's off. Excellent. Now we're going to get into dislocates. Let's try to loosen up those shoulders a little bit more. So we're going to have, we're still going to short stick, by the way. You want to have the hands as wide as you need, right? Don't go too, don't start off too narrow. You're better off starting out wider and then moving your hands in. So start out wide. Feet are be pointed forward, roughly about shoulder width apart. Squeeze the glutes and squat down a bit. We don't want any of that movement from the low back. All right, if we start to do this, 
as we're going through, we're not really getting that the shoulders to really get uh, to get more mobile and open up. So again, starting at a, with your hands out nice and wide, squat down, squeeze the glutes. I'm gonna lightly pull the stick apart about 15% tension. And I'm gonna bring the stick up overhead. Squeeze those glutes, keep the rib cage down. Up and over if you can. Still pulling the stick apart. Come back up. Over, once it gets to eye level, compress the stick. 15% and bring it down to the front of the hips, pull apart, up, over, good, come back up, once it gets to eye level, compress the stick, good, pull apart, up and over, Good, come back up. Compress the stick. Excellent, and ease off. Wonderful. Now we're gonna get in a little more rotation here. So we're gonna go with a split stance position. Now we're gonna use this as a way to work with just getting some movement in. So kind of feel, keep this, or think about this as more of a flow than it is just a, it's kind of like a static thing. Right leg's gonna be forward, sticks in the right hand. Bottom of the stick is in line with my hips. So I'm actually gonna to turn to the side here. So it's in line with my hips here. Right hand's gonna be out, nice and straight. Keep this right arm straight. I don't want any movement, any bent elbow positions here. I want to keep it out nice and straight here. Squat down, make sure you're loading that front leg. And as usual, squeezing that left glute, right? You're squeezing the back hip. I want to keep my hand on my chest here, left hand on my chest, and then I'm going to open up to the right, rotate and reach out with the left, and then I'm going to come back forward, then reach, rotate to the right, reach out with the left, come back forward, good, rotate, three, back forward, open up and rotate, four, excellent, Open up and rotate, five, let's go three more. Open up and rotate, six, you're really trying to reach out, create as much distance between both hands. Seven, one more time. Eight, back to center and relax. Let's go ahead and switch sides here. So now I'll turn forward, same thing. Now the six on the, in the left hand, Left leg is forward. And here, I'll, and I will say this, one of the reasons why we always rotating towards that front leg is so we're not getting as much compensation and movement from the hips. Sometimes what happens is we're rotating away from that front leg, we can get the hips to open up. So this is one way to kind of make sure we're trapping this leg in position. Also, you get that posterior line going from the glute up into the lat. Now from here, arms are straight. We're not driving a stick down. The stick is into the ground, it's having it as a guide. From here, open up, rotate to the left, reach forward. Excellent. Bring it back in. Good. Reach forward. Two. Reach forward. Three. Reach forward. Four. Spine should be feeling nice and loose here. Reach forward, five, excellent. Let's go three more. Rotate, six, side to side or bumping as we do this one. Stick comes on top of the upper back. So we're not pulling the stick apart. You can actually even have your hands hanging over the stick if you'd like. 
Now, from here, we do want to create a tiny bit of tension by pulling that side that we're flexing to down and towards the hip or that. leg. So from here, feet are cage, pulling that right hand in towards the right leg. And then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to laterally flex to my left, doing that same thing. Excellent. Back to center, laterally flex to the right. Back to center, now to the left. Back to center, to the right. Back to center, left. Gotta show the spine some love, people. To the right. Excellent, left. Let's go one more, right. Excellent, and left. Back to center, and ease off. Excellent. And that, my friends, concludes today's stick mobility class. I am Coach Ray. Thank you again for joining me on your Saturday. I appreciate you taking your time out your day to join me. I will be sure to catch y'all next weekend. It's going to be in February, so we got a different line of things we're going to be focusing on. So, as usual, happy Saturday. 